I'm coming once again, man. It's the brother Kaya. Do a sit down. Uh, I'm just revisiting on um, a video the brother did in the camp, man. On um, uh, beware of thy children, man. On um, spirit just was on me to uh, just lamb back off it, man. You know he was absolutely right about the vid, man. And um, you know a lot of brothers in the troop, you know they may not have kids. Oh, uh, you know, a lot of brothers have kids, man. So, you know, Lord willing, I hope it be edifying, man, to just be aware of thy children, man. Because um, this is a, uh, you know, this is um one of the wiles of of the ways of the devil to um, you know, bite against you, man, to use against you. So you just gotta be circumspect towards your kids, man, and to be well, you know, and to be well of them, man, be circumspect. But before I start, I won't say um, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah. Kahala, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kwakadash. The honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone, and um, salutation to the Akims that's pushing this work around the globe in truth and sincerity, and to the true Akims out there, push on. And um, with no further ado, man, I'm going to dive right into it, man. And, um, you know, we just got to watch our children, man, just like we got to watch our women, just like we got to watch two-thirds, just like we got to watch the other, um, the enemy. You know, we got to watch, you know, we got to examine ourselves. We got to examine everything, man. So... You know, your kids can be, you know, right now, this time, they are blessing and a curse unto us, man. So this, you know, you, but it's, it's instructions for us to follow on how to be well of our children, man, and how to raise them up. All right, this um, Sirach 3rd and 1, it says, He that loveth his son causeth him off to fill the ride, all right? And that's causing him off to fill the ride, man, and that's um, chastisement, man, because we know according to the scriptures, you know, the father chasten those he love. So if you love your children, you're going to chastise them, man. And I ain't talking about for nothing, man, before when they uh basically, you know, uh have folk. You know, you got to deal with it, man. And have them understand that it's about responsibility, man, not being irresponsible, man. All right? That kids have to get held up to a certain standard too, man, because you're supposed to train them up in a, in a, in a certain way. And I'm going to get into that in Proverbs, you know. It says that he may have joy of him in his end. Yeah, so in this latter end, he would be increased, man, because um, um, uh, chastisement brings uh, chastisement brings um order, man. You know, they have your son in order, man. You know, it deal with him accordingly, man. You know, I'm a uh, I'm a get four. This third and four it says, though his father die, yet he is as though. He were not dead. Yeah, man, because he, the, his offspring is as strong as him, you know, as, as wise as him, you know, uh, more pros just as prosperous as him because he gave him all that was inside of him, man. You know, he trained them up with these. And that way he gave them, it got to be according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, walking in these um, orders, ordinances and statues of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, for he had left one behind that is like himself. You see, that's just like putting a plant in the ground, man. I mean, a seed. You got to water it for it to grow, man. You know, you got to give it instructions, just like to your son. You got to give him instructions, you know. You got to let him bump his head a little, man. But ultimately, you got to do um, give him, you know, these um, implant these righteous um, vines inside of him, man, which is um, the, uh, the um, ways, walking the ways of this book, man. All right? And you and this should none of these fail, none will want to make, man. All right, uh, I'm gonna jump down to um seven. I'm gonna be jumping around. Arguments. It says, He that make it too much of his son shall bind up his wounds, and his bowels will be troubled at every cry. Yeah, man, you know, you puffing it up your son, man, because you know he probably gonna be a good basketball player or whatever the case may be, man, but uh. You know, whenever you puff it up, what happens when someone puff it up, man? You know, he get he gets cocky, he get arrogant, you know, and he lose weight, man. He lose focus, man. He start to think about it's all about him. And like it says, uh, his bowels will be troubled at every cry, man. You know? Yeah, man. Affliction gonna take hold upon him, man. You know? And bring him low, man. I'll go to eleven. It says, give him no liberty in his youth and wink not at his fathers. Yeah, man, don't give him no liberty. Don't give him freedom in his youth like that, man. You know, keep his hands tied up with, with, with doing work, 
your uh, yard work, uh, you know, reading the Bible, reading what he can understand, man, you know, keep his hands uh, tied to things that's going to uh, that's going to um, help him prosper in his in his own ladder end, man, because right now this world get our kids and it swallow our kids whole, man. If this world get our kids, it's going to swallow our kids whole, man. And we wink at, 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 at uh, our kids' folly. No, when you see that foolishness, man, correct that shit and let them know, like, look, man, that's foolishness. It's going to lead you to the paths of destruction. Don't wink at it. Meaning don't cover it up, man. You know? Don't don't let it be all, oh, man, you know, he's just a child, this and that. No. Hold him. Hold it. We supposed to hold a child in regards as 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 a uh, a young man. A young a, a young lad should be on held in the same Steve as a, as a man because that man supposed to be teaching him those manly ways, man. So he should be held on um, according, man, accordingly. You know, not as much as you know for his his uh that he would basically be you know as the man would be, but you walk him in those ways, man, to prepare him. For when you know that it's time to be a man, you can stand on your on, on your own too. It says, This 12, bow down his neck while he is young, and beat him on the sides while he is a child, least he wag stubborn and be disobedient unto thee, and so bring sorrow to thy heart. Yeah, man. You know, catch that shit early, man. You know, you gotta catch cancer early and cut it out before it starts, man. And that's the way you're supposed to train up your children, man. This Proverbs 22 and 6. It says, train, train up a child in the way that he should go. And what is the way? The scriptures tell you that, that um, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah is the way, the truth, and the light. All right? Psalms 119 and 9 tell you, um, uh, well, whither shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed unto the word, man. It says, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. All right, yeah, so when triumph, trial, tribulations come upon him, he's going to remember that he have something to fall back on, man. And if you and if you constantly, repeatedly, and repetitively teach this to him, man, you know what I'm saying? Then you give your son a good shot, man. You know, to be, uh, you know, to basically own, to basically be able to own, take on this world, man. Of course, you got to take it on with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine, believing and having faith in him, but... You know, that'll come with hearing and hearing of the word. That's what the faith do. So the more and more you tell your son about this word, the more and more you uh you you get uh greater his chances on, you know, coming into the fold, man. But it's ordained from the beginning who gonna get it and who not, man. So all you could do is tell him, man, you know, and let him walk his path, man. All right. Yeah, man. So, you know. That's that I'm gonna stand on. And uh, I'm going to stand here real quick. Proverbs 22 and 15. It says, foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Yeah, it finally is set in their mind, man. Playing a game, you know, just hanging around the house, not wanting to clean up. You know what I'm saying? You got to tell them things multiple times. You know, a child is uh, uh, irresponsible, man. You know, uh, so you got to. You got to uh, basically stay on them, man, so they can learn order, man, you know, so they can know that, you know, well, because in your youth, that's when you at your strongest. They got nothing but energy all day, but when they ask to do something that consists of them utilizing their, in um, their energy, all of a sudden they're not energetic no more because they want to do what they want to do, man. That's why, you know, you like you say, man, hey, hey, train up your child and we put this word on them, man. Put this word on them, especially if you know the word, man. That's all you can do, man. It might pay off, man. You got to give it a shot. You love your children, man. You a, hey, you going to give it to them, man. And you're going to make them feel a ride. You're going to beat them on his sides, you know. It says, but the rod of correction shall drive it. But the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. You see, I could just read an apocrypha. You're going to drive it from his sides, man. I mean, I don't beat him on his sides, man, while he is a child. Least he wax stubborn, man. You know? And become um, unstable in all his ways, man. You know? Because he's stubborn, man. That's winking at his fathers or causing him to become stubborn. All right? But this on um, Sirach 3rd and uh, 13. 
It says, chastise thy son and hold him to labor, man. Yeah, man, hold him to labor, man. Put his ass to work. Cut the grass, man. Fix this. Do this. Clean this up, man. You know, fix your room up, man. You know? Because we take care of our kids, man. I, I take care of my kids, man. And, uh, you know, look, you know, thank the Lord. The Lord willing, he, you know, blessed me enough to be able to do so, man. And, uh... And, um, you know, I let them know, hey, man, nothing I'm doing is going in vain, man. Everything I'm doing for you because I'm, 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 I'm holding accountability of being your father, knowing that I have to feed you and, you know, uh, clothe you and, 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 and uh, give you raiment, you know, up until the point, time appointed that you can do it on your own, man. So what if I came in the house and say, well, yeah, I ain't got nothing to eat for you or no clothes to put on your back? How would you feel then, man? You know? These children got to be, be aware, man, of what's going on, man. It says, least is Lou behavior being an offense unto thee. Yeah, man. You know? These kids these days, man, is, is you know, I'm going to go ahead and say it, man. They fucked up. They demons and devils, man. Because they, hey, can you blame them, though? We wasn't taught by our fathers, majority of us, man. And, uh, you know, hey, the apples don't fall fall from the tree, man. You know, we got no truth in us. So how can we instill in our children, man? You know, and on this side, man, hey, this world's so corrupt, man, and 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 it's only so much we could do as, as fathers who teach our kids the right way. But when they with their mothers, their mothers is of the world. You know, they eating all kind of abominable foods, you know, they taking them to all kind of abominable places. So you know, when you tell them this, man, there's a war against good and evil, man. And that's what the war always been about. But all you can do is, hey, tell your children, man, and, you know, let her know, man. And that's it from that, man. What we could do? What could we really do? These old wicked-ass children. And I'm going to get into it, man. Uh, this is Rock 16 and 1. It says, desire not a multitude of unprofitable children. <laughs> you see that? Those that are unprofitable. Neither delight in ungodly sons. Yeah, man. And ungodly sons is, is simply sons who don't listen, who are hard-headed, and they and they and they uh they lack a days they lazy, you know, they uh they uh they sluggish, you know, they uh you know, they slothful. That's this this is what, what kids are. You know, they 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 don't want to receive correction, they won't want to hear instruction, you know, and a lot of these kids you look on TV and around these houses, man, that's the way it is, man. Because the parents have winked at their folly. It says, do they multiply rejoice not in them except the fear of the Lord be with them? Yeah, unless you give them this word, man. You know? Unless this word be planted up in them, man. You know? You're going you gonna to have enjoyment in them, man. You're going to enjoy your children, man. You know? I'm blessed to have, you know, the father to uh, deliver me, you know, uh, 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 wake me up to this word, man. And I'm, you know, I'm blessed to give it to my son, man. You know? Which is uh uh you know he 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 receive it man but a hey, at the end of the day it's still on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that he have faith and believe it you know but um you know it's still a blessing so far man so far man a hey, a hey, it could be the other way around you know I could have a stubborn son man and ain't no elders to take him up to the city I gotta just take my liquor on that because if I beat him I'm going to jail so come on man this society fucked up man. And um, so this Proverbs 20 and 11, it says, even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right because of the, because of the, that'll be, a, that'll be the direct, uh, that'll be the direct offset of his parents, man. What I just said, man, he, he know, even a child is known of his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right because of the way that he was taught in the direction, taught in the direction he was led in, man, you know. The children are offspring of their parents. The parents are offspring of their children, man. Vice versa. What you see these kids out here doing, their parents probably j resemble the same thing, man. Go back to Sirach, uh 16 and 3. It says, Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude. For one that is just is better than a thousand, and better is it, is it to die without children than who have them that are ungodly. And a lot of men, are, believe it or not, man, not to have kids on this side is a blessing, man. It's a true blessing, man. It's a, it's a gift and a curse, man. Because to have them over here, man, and watch them perish 
Watch them be afflicted with, you know, uh, uh, pestilence. Watch the water be poisoned, man. You know, and they got to endure and inflict and, 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 and be inflicted and affected by these things, man. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking, man. You got to be a man of the Lord, man, and know how to, uh, you know, basically suck it up and keep rolling and keep trusting. And Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man, to deal with that, man. You know, our children, nose running from the chemicals, the chemtrails and the ass shit, man. Come on, man. A wise man understand what, what's the deal with that, man. They nose always running. They always sick and out of the hospital with fever. That's because of the um this atmosphere, this polluted atmosphere, man. This air, water, you know, the toothpaste, man, the cereal, man, everything, man. It says, for by one that had understanding shall the city be plenished, but the kindred of the wicked shall speedily become desolate. So, you know, by one, man. You can re um, replenish the city, man. If you had one good child, man, and you know, like it is, man. Hey, you know, I can. I'm, 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 I'm deeply saddened for my kids, man. But on, um, you know, hey, the father gave them to me, man. So I gotta do my part and what I gotta do, man. Also be well that they can um, be a stumbling block, and it's true to y'all, man. The kids could be a stumbling block. The the devil could use your kids against you, man. And he's gonna do that. You know, so with that, just make sure you're giving all your own um, um, charity to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah first, man, and the Father cover you in your house, man. And you just got to have a faith. And if he don't, he'll get you more, man. So with that, outcome, you know, I hope that was that a fine, man. I just want to go on that, man. It was on my spirit, you know, because yeah, I got kids, man. And, um, you know, that's just with the, um, that's just with the lick read, man. That's the way the Father wrote my own. Wrote, wrote his will out and wrote my life out to be, man. So, yeah, I got to deal with it, man. But, you know, with that, Occam's, uh, until next time, uh, I, I, well, I hope that was edifying. Until next time, I won't say shalom.